these oh. tracks. They seem to be going to south. Those animals are probably taking her back to their tribe. I swear to God, if they arm a single hair on their head, I'm going to slaughter every last one of those green skins. Stupid, stupid, stupid. They just have to trust them. <laughs> They can't be all bad. Let's just ignore the war and the countless crimes that committed against the other races of this world. I'm going to go alone and try to make peace. One good thing that might come of this is that they may just think clearly for once. I like that they were too nice for their own good, but now, <laughs> not when it got them hard. Come on, Quincy. We need to go faster. Come on, boy. I'll get you some extra sugar cubes. Hatta, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop. The vegetation is too thick here. Besides, you might give us away. Wait here for me. I shouldn't be long. Don't worry. And stay out of trouble. The last time I left you alone, I found you half a kilometer away munching on peasants in some poor peasant garden. <sighs> I can cover the coast, but I really don't feel like chasing down another kidnapping in a single day. Hmm? I'll be back soon, okay? Hmm. Where are you? Oh, would you look at that? Orc, male, tribal paint? Most likely hunter. Young adult, might not even know his tribe as a captive. Hmm, I can use this to my advantage. <laughs> Bastard, won't know what hit him. Time's on the stress time. <clears throat> Hello? Is there anyone there? I'm so lost and helpless. If any wild animal were to attack me, I would probably die instantly. Oh, an orc. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> Not used to this, are you? Though you'd get unlucky when a human woman wander into your territory. Weak. Disgusting. I shall slit your throat, but I won't because you have something that I want. I don't know how long it's been since you left to go on your hunt, but you try kidnapped someone and I would really like to get them back. So, do us both a favor and tell us where the rest of your upright big friends are before I turn you into roast and present you to the king. That wasn't so hard. I don't suggest going back home for a few hours. <gasps> there it is! Oh, right where he said it would be. Alright, what am I working with? Mm, small settlement. Uh, houses made of wood and plant fibers. Most well-designed structures appear to be built in the ground. Hmm. It isn't protected by any walls or natural barriers. That could make a stealthy approach more challenging. Ooh, those guards over there? One of them has a steel sword, while the other has a club. There are multiple tribes here. A technologically primitive one and a more advanced one. Is this connected to the kidnapping? Hmm, all right, let's just see where she is. <gasps> there, tied to a pillar. Hmm, they're low enough to the ground that they can sit, and they look relatively unarmed. Ugh, those big skins want something from her. Or maybe it's hair they want in general. Hmm? Over there! A chief? 
pan colored skin and a multiple of battle scars. Definitely older than your average orc. Nah. Tusk size points to many successful jewels within the tribe itself. Hmm, they're looking at her. Wait, that's a... Is he proposing to them? Then skull dickheads definitely won't take no for an answer. And she's so fragile, they'll accidentally break them. No, 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 the only person who's going to break them is me when I finally get them myself. I don't have time for stalt, I'll have to face them head on. Hey, big skins! I spend the better part of the day tracking your souls down and not living without the human that you took. I assume you want me to fight your chief for her? I'm not intimidated. I'll take all of you assholes on myself if I have to. What? What are you doing? Are you not going to fight me? What makes me different than the villagers you've slain? The towns that you once caked? You didn't leave anything. Nor did you leave any signs. Are you such a glutton of savages that you devour them, bones and all? Hey, uh, stop talking. I'm trying to save your ass. What do you mean that they never killed anyone? You've seen the ruins, the villages, and you heard the accounts from the refugees saying that they never killed anyone. It's like saying that the sky isn't blue. <sighs> Look around. What do you mean by that? Fine. <gasps> what? But how? Everyone. Every last human that you've taken. You took them with you? Why? You, Chief. Explain. What are you trying to tell me? Most of the humans you took with you came voluntarily? I don't believe it. What kind of human will choose an orc over their own kind? D <laughs> tell me I see my orchies wants me and I'll use those tusks of yours to gouge your eyes out. But <sighs> what's going on? Are you saying that they captured you because they thought that if they took a human like you as their mate it would be enough to convince the king? Why not any other humans? There's plenty to choose from here. You didn't have to try and cuck me. Shit, did I say that out loud? Alright, I liked you for a long time. I like how you're always nice to everyone. How would always see the best in people. Even if it gets you in trouble. And... How are you so friendly to someone like me? You didn't realize. All the time we spend together. The way I make my schedule so that we always are able to meet. I know you were dance, but this is something else. I just traveled the entire day, shocked you through a jungle, and was prepared to take on an entire tribe if it meant getting you back. What I'm trying to say is that I, I like you, Dumbass. There, I said it. Oh, what's so funny? What? No! I, well, I can just take weaker female. That's the thing called consented expectations where I'm from. Guys from my home aren't used to women like me. Most of them are fragile and submissive and... Well, well, orcish. Alright, so let's just say that everything I've heard about your kind from my people is a lie. What does that mean for us? Am I supposed to just gloss over the fact that you had someone that you kidnapped tied to a pillar with the express purpose of jumping their bones? You do realize that no matter how good your intentions were, the strength difference between the two of you would turn this kidnapping into an homicide if you went through with it. <laughs> a hypocrite? 
Do you really see me as being that much stronger than him? Do you really see me as being much stronger than her? Look, she is mine and mine alone. You all got it? Good. We're leaving now. Our return once have called... I return once I've talked with the king. I, I don't care if it's late. I have a horse waiting for me, and he doesn't like being left alone. What do you mean by oh, dead horse? <laughs> that is most certainly not possible. How? Uh, actually, how did you get in here? Not only did you defy me, you found a way through the forest that was large enough for you. But you also found the village. And you found a hare? And the only purpose for that was to munch on some of the orc scrubs. <sighs> I guess I have no excuse anymore. All right, I have one condition. She stays with me. Don't smirk at me. Just because I learned that you aren't the monsters that I thought you were doesn't mean I can't find you any more than simply tolerable. Finally, we're alone. <laughs> you know, you really scared me. You don't know how scared I was when I learned that you were going to meet an orc tribe. An orc tribe. You're so foolish sometimes. Many people more powerful than the both of us have tried in vain to make peace, and the few that succeed are never able to make it last. I could have lost you. Do you know how much that would hurt me? I don't think I'd be able to leave. Every day of my life is either fighting or training. You are my only link to humanity. There are so few female lights that I can't even go to anyone about this issue. They walk through the town and all the women just swoon over them. But they go through the town. And the men either overlook me or think I'm just some freak. So, what if I some muscle? I'm still a woman, just a little more dominant at all. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> mm, you're spending the night in my arms. Don't even think about trying to sleep by yourself. Just relax a little bit, right? <sighs> The chief was right about something. I'm much stronger than you. <laughs> you aren't going anywhere. Also, I get that you were trying to do something good, but what would you have done if I hadn't made it in time? Did you expect the kind to understand the significance of what they were planning? Would you have even gone along with it? I, I honestly don't think you're comprehending what almost happened to you. Unless, of course, it was a bad for you for the reasons that I assumed it is. Oh! Oh! I understand it now. You're intimidated by stronger people, and you like that? Was it a win-win for you, or would you actually have been upset if we crossed paths after it? I'm teasing you. You didn't know it was going to happen, and I hardly doubt you would have gotten away. Still, I meant every word I said, and fortunately for you, I'm only aggressive when wronged. <laughs> Your legs are safe. For now. Hmm. Hmm. That's it. Just relax. I've got you. I've dreamed of having you like this for so long. <laughs> I didn't think it would happen. At least not like this. <sighs> I was so scared to tell you because I was scared that you would reject me, you know. You are a pretty fair woman. If I didn't have the responsibilities that I had, I probably wouldn't have taken this chief advice. Maybe you wouldn't know what I had did you. I'm joking. 
were they at least nice to you on the way here? You know, you seem so tender and a fragile woman. That's good. When I saw how fast they were moving, that was my first concern. My initial thought process was that they were brutal and unnecessarily violent towards our kind. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Explaining this one to my hiker groups is going to be a pain. Some of them are more brainwashed than I am. We shall probably stay in contact with this tribe. Maybe we can match up some humans with relatives that might think they were killed. Think about that. I probably done more bad things than they did to us. You know, I call you fool, stupid, dance, but I never give you credit when you deserve it. You were right about this. And even though you were kind of outcasted by some of the more violent members of our people, you held firm to your beliefs. That's noble. Well, you make up for your lack of physical strength with your bravery and willpower. And I can respect that. <laughs> Hell, I can learn from that. It's getting pretty late. I've agreed to meet with the chiefs tomorrow to discuss our approach to the king. We might have a genuine chance at bringing this conflict to an end. And it's all thanks to you. So, rest, okay? You've earned it. Sweet dreams. <laughs>